All right, so for this video, I have 12 sealed booster packs of the third party product from MJ Holding Company. So I'm going to open a few up and see how we do. So we'll get some space opened up here for sets. All right, so first set we have is set five. We got a Divine Riptide and no foil for that one. So we'll put our rares over here. We'll put our sets over here. All right, so there's first one. Next is a Shadow Clash um, booster pack. So we got our three uncommons. Mega Detonator, which is our rare, and our commons. So no foil for the first one. We'll keep, well actually we'll move this here. Try to keep the sets organized. So next up, do another one. And the nice thing is doing 12 of these is actually equivalent to a booster box. So this one, it's a little out of order, but everything should still be there. So we have, it's gonna be five or six commons. Looks like six, so probably no foil. You have Smile Angler, which are rare, and Mistrius, Giga Bulver, and Screaming Sunburst for uncommons. Next, we have a DM6 pack. So for that one, we have, oh, it looks like we have a foil. We have, ah, Logia Silver Rift Guardian. So not the best one, but still cool to get a foil. So we also got a Factory Shell Q. Put the outside. Coco Lupia. That's definitely a favorite for many people. And the rest of our uncommons for DM6. So, two in. Got our foil. So, good start. Pack number three. We have DM6, it looks like. Our rare is Christ's Boulder. We have no foil for this one, it looks like. And next we have. Again, they're out of order a little bit, so Gregoria, which is our rare from DM4. Hunter Cluster, and no foil for that one. All right, so do another one. So again, most of the car, you're gonna see a pattern for packs. A lot of times you get a lot of, you get a lot of sets four, five, and six, and we'll get an occasional one from another pack. But for this one, you may even just get all of those packs. So this one looks like got Skull Sweeper. We have a King Mazelon is our uncommon foil, or it's our foil for a very rare. So glad we got that. And looks like next we have a Shadow Clash set. Rare is Merino Mancer. And the rest are just commons. All right. So I think this is either pack number five or six. All right, so we have DM5, Bloodwing Mantis is our rare. Then we have DM4, rare is Mega Detonator. And these are actually upside down, interesting, okay. All right, so that's DM4. Let's see what we get next. So we have another DM5 pack. Twin Can Sky Terror, which I always get really excited to see. It's a very good rare. So, so nothing for there. We have another Shadow Clash. Merino Mancer again. So, so a little slow on the big foils. Hopefully we pick one up coming up. Again, but you think a booster box, you're typically gonna get six to eight foils, a booster box. If you open up 12 of these, it's actually an equivalent to a booster box. So they're still pretty good odds. Merino Mancer, another one of those. Getting a lot of that one. Almost got a playset. So next we have a DM6. And we have a Badlands Lizard for our rare. Okay. So we'll reorganize these a little bit. So, so far, we have two foils, got our rares, and looks like we have five more of these, I believe. Yep, five more. 
So we'll see how we do. It's like we have Kamikaze, Exploding, Serious, Awkward, Pippi, and we have a Supporting Tulip. So not what we would want to pull for foils, but good to see they're in there. And Mongrel Man. Next we have a DM6. And we get Baza Gazeel. That is a fantastic rare. That is definitely one of the top five I would love to get every time. So even that will, that helps to make the packs worth it on that one. So still looking for a wow foil. Hoping we get one. Doesn't look like this pack. Let's see what we get. So rare is Fort Mega Cluster. No foil for that set. Oh, I see some shine back there. So we have a little bit there. Then we have Marino Mancer came a little early. DM4. And it looks like we got an Astro Warper for this one. So again, it's good to see the foils are in there. Would love to see a super rare though. And this is definitely one of the ones, I don't know if you can see up close. It is a little bit of a darker pattern for the color. Again, everything looks great, it's all there, but they do, the ink you can find is a little darker for some of the cards, mostly from DM4, I found in my experience. All right, next one up. So this one, we have Pakalul. And then we also have, oh, move those there. We have Cutthroat's, oh, I think we, no, maybe not foil. Featherhorn, Giga Griff, ah, oh, Rickaboo Screwdriver. Well, you know, we're not hitting the foils, but we are hitting some high quality rares. Between that and Bazagazeel Dragon, those are really exciting ones to hit. So it looks like we have two left. This one's a little loose. So, and we'll see what we get. So another DM6 pack. Midnight Crawler, Dimension Gate, Photo Side is our rare for that pack, and nothing else noteworthy there. And last pack, Let's see if we can get something. All right, so we have DM5, looks like first. Oh, I see a bit of a bend of a shoot. Ah. Oh. Another King Mazelon. So, foils have not been the best, but you know they are showing up. We're getting some, so that part is good. Kip Chipotle. And then we have another DM6 to end out, which I think we got some good, guys. You ready for this? Reign of Arrows, Thrash Crawler, Bonds of Justice. All right, and I did see it, so I'm excited to say Crystal Jouster. Is, let me move this right spot. Crystal Jouster is going to be our super rare, which that is exciting. It's like a $20 super rare. So, again, the nice thing with these cards, they are mint near mint. Card looks great. Um, so, no, we didn't get as many super rares as I would like, but we did hit six foils, which is, that's about, that's about average. You're going to see, you're going to see odd, um, you're going to see some packs that you get more super rares, less super rares. Um, cause it is randomized. So it's one out of every 33. So sometimes you get lucky. This one, we only got one super rare, but we did get a pretty good one. And that is it for this opening. So we'll do a little recap here for rares just to run through here. So definitely the most noteworthy is going to be Rickaboo screwdriver and the Baza Gazeel dragon. So that is really good. Twin cannons. Excellent as well. So the rare side, we actually did pretty good for the foils. Um, we definitely had some last pack magic with the crystal jouster. So for the rest of them, um, two King Mazelons, a bit disappointed on that one. But, you know, we are hitting foils again for, for the packs themselves. The pulls are pretty good. You get some great sets value-wise. A lot of these booster boxes would cost... 100 bucks alone, the DM6 Stompatron, that can cost 200 or so. So it is random what you get. Usually these three sets, though, as we saw from discussing the first video, these are the most common sets you're going to find. And in this opening, we happen to get just DM4 through DM6. 
So that does happen. And that's going to be it. Thanks a lot.